Hello there, welcome to my channel. If you're stopping by for the first time, Karibu Sana, please consider subscribing and also give this video a thumbs up and let's get straight to today's recipe. So as from the title, today we are doing oven roasted groundnuts. It's very simple, one of my favorite methods. You can use a pan if you don't have an oven, but you must constantly keep turning your groundnuts. And the other method that I like to use, especially when I'm doing a small bunch, is roasting them in my microwave. Anyway, the first thing that you want to do is sort out your groundnuts, remove the bad ones. Now the next step I'm going to add some salt to my ground now so what i like to do is just put some salt and mix it with some water so that it completely dissolves i love this method because it gives your ground nuts a clean roast and there's no white cast on your ground nuts so i would highly recommend for you to dissolve your salt in water first before mixing with the ground nuts once that is done add your salt mixture to the ground nuts and ensure that they are all well coated While this process has been going on, that is the sorting and also just mixing the ground nuts, my oven has been preheating at 180 degrees Celsius. I then let the ground nuts soak in that salt solution for about 2 minutes, you don't want them to be too soggy, which ends up prolonging the cooking time. Once that is done, spread the ground nuts on your baking tray. I then proceeded to put my granites in my preheated oven and the timer was at 8 minutes. After about 4 minutes, I went ahead to check if everything was going on okay. I turned my ground nuts just to ensure that they are cooking evenly. But when you're roasting on the oven, you don't necessarily need to keep turning your ground nuts. Once you get to hear that popping sound, then you know your ground nuts are ready. Or when you get to see that the skin is coming off the ground nuts, then you know they are ready. Mine took approximately 10 minutes because I set my oven at 8 minutes. I added an extra 2 minutes and they were well done. Done. Let your groundnuts sit on the baking tray until they are completely cooled down. Once your groundnuts have completely cooled down, proceed to store them in an airtight container. Groundnuts came out completely well done, very crunchy, and I hope you can try this method. Share it with your friends and family. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you on the next video. Till next time, bye-bye.